Hey guys, Booligan here, Booligan Airsoft, Airsoft Insider. Real AR Upper, out with the old, in with the new. So, as I mentioned before, initially we were running a key mod handguard on this. This is kind of the out of the box upper that you would get from Kinetic Concealment. A key mod upper, standard, uh, or key mod handguard, standard upper receiver, things like that. Um, but I've run key mod a couple of times and I'm starting to get into the M-Lock architecture instead. A um, couple things I like on M-Lock versus Key Mod. Key Mod, it works well. If the parts are made to spec, which these are, these are very well made handguards, if they're made to spec, then your accessories fit just fine, they lock in just fine. Um, but I just don't, I don't love the way it looks. I think it looks like shelving equipment sometimes. You know, I kind of got to see it uh, holding up a shelf at Home Depot. It's just not my favorite aesthetically pleasing look. Plus, the actual pieces themselves have a little bit of a sharp edge to them, so you really do need to invest in some covers or you will basically always be shooting in gloves. M-Lock, on the other hand, looks more complete, in my opinion. You've got nice radius uh, rectangles here where the M-Lock segments fit in. Um, it just looks more complete. And it's a tiny, tiny bit lighter than the um, key mod handguard, just a tiny bit. I mean, almost imperceptible, but it feels feels lighter. Um, we have mine currently fitted with a small M-Lock bipod adapter and a flip down bipod, just a Harris style bipod. Very simple stuff, uh, very powerful springs on this thing. It flips out with authority and the feet eject quite well when you need to if and when you need to deploy them. Everything locks in place very well. This setup with this and the M-Lock uh, adapter, the lightweight M-Lock bipod, or the M-Lock sling swivel, um, came in about 30 bucks altogether. So pretty inexpensive for a high quality piece. The nice part with Kinetic Concealment and their rails, their M-Lock handguard and their key mod handguard use the same bolt pattern, the same screw pattern on the barrel nut. So I'll be able to switch these over without having to actually switch over the barrel nut, without having to retorque things, reclock things. So uh, we will go ahead and let's throw this on and let's see how this looks on my AR upper. Well, we have the hand guard off. We could take a look at the barrel profile and the barrel nut. The barrel nut is made of steel. This is critical to give the thing a solid, durable build overall. And it just helps the thing feel really nice. Um, you've got a, uh, a pinned low profile pistol, or excuse me, carbine length uh, gas system. Um, and if you look at the barrel, you'll notice it does not have an M203 cut. This is a moderately heavy profile. It's not full heavy profile because it doesn't have the big thick barrel back here, but it does not have the M203 cut down here. Makes the barrel weigh a little bit more but it should yield fairly decent accuracy because it's not going to have barrel whip, which on an AR platform with 5.56 five, ammo really isn't a problem, um, but it is just a very solid barrel. Let's continue putting on the M-Lock handguard. And voila, in no time at all, switched over that key mod handguard for M-Lock. I love the way this thing looks. I love the way it feels. It feels great. There's no sharp edges. There's no little pointy things in the actual slots itself to catch my hand. It just fits really well. It clocked very easily because obviously the barrel nut was already clocked and torqued and with the addition of that bipod on there it looks very very good. Still not throwing it on the lower yet. Um, there's one more thing that I need to do to this upper and that's going to be in my next video. I'm running a Strike Industries EL charging handle. It's a little bit different design than your normal one. It has more gripping surface. It has this extended latch but I don't love latch charging handles for a couple of reasons. One, you have to make sure that you're getting it on that side. If I was grabbing this from the other side, I'd be out of luck. It also beats up your upper receiver. This is with me babying this and being really careful and you're still starting to get some erosion on the uh, upper receiver where that charging handle hits. So I've got a product in my hands that I'm going to be installing that gets rid of that latch. Makes it so that you can run this same charging handle ambidextrous without any crazy uh, tools or other tricks necessary and should just be a very good way to avoid damaging the upper receiver and making this thing easier to use. So stay tuned for the next video 
on this continuing AR-15 build. Thanks for watching.